very good. Here we go. We have a four-year senior who has been helping us in the clarinet section, and we would like to congratulate our four-year senior band award winner, Miyoko Zhang. <laughs> If 
we've done this correctly, there's only four seniors left. We're about to give out the top awards to our top four seniors. I did and I have made mistakes before. I've had at least two seniors cry in the last 30 years because I forgot about them. No, three seniors cry. Man, Mr. Humble. All right, uh, first of all, uh, we would like to recognize our trumpet section leader. He's done a fantastic job for us since day one, wonderful musician. Uh, he also uh, has done many things for us, including orchestra. You will hear him play a solo on Tuesday night at the orchestra concert and the jazz band. And so we would like to give the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. These are our top four uh, seniors to Pablo Hernandez. Individual started on clarinet and then moved to tenor sax. And then while she was playing tenor sax, she also played lead alto in the jazz band and did a fantastic job this year in the Crabtree Jazz Band. And then when the emergency arrived, she said, Sure, Mr. Humble, I'll play bass clarinet. She has really uh, been a jack of all trades. She's done a fantastic job for us musically, and we're really going to miss her next year. And so we would like to honor Louis Armstrong Jazz Award winner to Summer Ortega. some bus problems uh, in the school district. One was a charter bus. I don't know if yours was a school bus or a charter bus, but her, her bus broke down and had to get a second bus, and she just barely made it tonight. We're very thankful that she did. She was supposed to be back at four and almost didn't make it for the concert, so we're so happy she made it back. All right, we have uh, two more awards. teaches the color guard and she's going to give out the outstanding color guard award winner you can always tell the quality of a leader when times are tough anyone can hold the helm when the seas are calm and Drea certainly has had a roller coaster up and down highs and lows for years at New House Colonies as they slowly began to rebuild our program. Her freshman year was the COVID pandemic Zoom year, and I know it's not fun to do Zoom on anything, but an act of art is just very difficult, but she hung in there. Her sophomore year was a struggle as we eased ourselves back into a normal competitive season. Her junior year, we practiced all summer long and right as school started, or began to start, we had our two senior leaders quit. And so she became our leader. And she was in charge of all freshmen. <laughs> that was our team, I one junior and all freshmen. And then finally her senior year came and it was such a relief. Um, we had a really great year and it was all because of her leadership and we just climbed back. It almost seemed like a normal old you had here. So it was just very, very pleasant. So Andrea has shown what kind of a leader she is through the tough times. She's a strong, committed, energetic, and hardworking leader. So the 2024 Color Guard Member of the Year goes to Andrea. Possible these days. 
Uh, this individual epitomizes leadership by example. His musicianship has really improved all the, over the four years. Has done many solos for us. But really, uh, what it comes down to is when I have substitutes. Close your ears for a minute, uh, Principal Euchre. When I have substitutes, they don't teach the kids. They sit at my desk, and I hate to say it, they're on their phone the whole time. There's been a couple times I've had substitutes go into my office and sit on their phone, you know, where they can't even see what's going on in the room, right? And the new comes up, and he doesn't do it in a pompous or uh, dictatorial way. He just goes, matter of fact, and he conducts the band. And it's almost as if I'm there. And I find out later that they actually, you know, worked on some things I needed them to do. He's a wonderful leader by example. He has spent numerous hours outside of these a school day to do things for the whole music department. Yeah, you'll see him uh, perform a solo on Tuesday night at orchestra, uh, but he performs uh, in everything. Uh, I'm, I'm, my wife is surprised he never did the splits for her uh, during the winter season with Color Dark, but you know, he, he did, uh, he's the drum major. He even earned some first place trophies this past winter as drum major. And I'll tell you what, I never needed him to be a spinner. I just needed him to be the leader. And then on top of that, he spent all this time this past year to make sure that he could spin well. And uh, he, he was, he was uh, placing first out of like 20, 30 drum majors at some of the competitions. But he's in the uh, crab beat jazz band, he's in the orchestra, he does the band, he does winter percussion, uh, he does uh, winter drum uh, major, and no, he never did the splits with the color drums. So my wife's <laughs> very disappointed. But we're gonna greatly miss him. He's already doing things to make sure that next year uh, kids are ready to go. I mean, it's just, just a wonderful student, and we'll very much miss him and excited to see what he's gonna do in the future. So we'd like to recognize our John Philip Sousa Award winner, New Lopez.